What's up, people? Today, I am really excited. I hope I remember to bleep that out. Why am I excited? Look at this box. What's in the box, man? What's in the box? Okay, that, that's only relevant if you've uh, seen the movie Seven starring Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Anyway, there is no, if you haven't seen the movie or if you've seen it, there's no severed head in this box. So, you don't worry, you won't see Gwyneth Paltrow's head pop out of this box. Anyway, it is the new EPAX 2K mono screen printer. How excited am I? I mean, so it's like the Sonic Mini, except much higher resolution. So, and, and it's EPAX. I mean, everyone knows I've been saying since I got my EPAX and now I've had seven different resin printers, the EPAX X1, uh, you know, was always the best of the best. It, it costs more than everything else, but it's built like a tank. It's easy to use. It's durable. It's, I mean, EPAX X1, but if you read any of my posts on Facebook, when people ask about printers, I always say, if you have extra money, you get the EPAX X1. Now, they're coming out with the 2K mono screen. Now, anyone knows who's been following me recently that my Sonic Mini, I love almost as much as the EPAX X1, uh, the faster cure times, and despite lower resolution, because it had a parallel light array and the mono screen which translates, transmits light better, it, it got results as good as a 2K screen. But now we have a 2K screen, which is also a mono screen, so it should be even better. So I'm real excited to test this out. I even picked up uh, Epax uh, Hard Resin, it's called. Uh, this resin, they said, is supposedly made kind of for the mono screen. I don't know what that means. Uh, it, maybe, it, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll test it out. I'm just excited. I don't even know what to say. I'm really excited by this. So what we're going to do is... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put the unboxing separately or just in a bubble of my head as I actually do the actual review. I'll figure that out. I guess you might know better than me already since I'm, I'm making this real time. I, it's not rehearsed. Um, but I will do the unboxing for those people who want to see it. Uh, you guys know I will do. I will be doing uh, in a second a short review of the printer. But first, I have to print with it for a few days. So I'm going to do a short review of the printer. And that's going to be followed up by a, by a more in-depth review and if you want to just jump right at the end you know i'm gonna have high res high res photos of my test prints right at the end of this video so i hope you guys are pumped up like i am this is i've been waiting for a 2k small mono screen to test uh so i can't wait to get to it thanks everybody people i've done enough testing well i know epex from my x1 I've, I've tested enough to get my thoughts on this machine so what you're going to see in the bubble box somewhere wherever i put it I'm um, just banging around on the machine. It's all metal construction. So if anyone who's not familiar with the Epax X1 had never had the product, there's a reason I recommend it for anyone who had 500 or less to spend. I spend the most, get the Epax X1. Best build quality, best quality of life. So what you're seeing is I'm just whacking all over it. It is all metal. The lid opens with the hinge halfway. So you can even put it up right up against the wall and still open. It's a great feature. The USB port is just on the side of the machine, but toward the front, very easy to access. It's all kind of little quality of life stuff. The Z-Rod, incredibly stable. Like the one thing I think, if you go to the EPAX forums, I don't know, honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone claim about Z-Wobble, okay? They, they were the ones who pioneered, I mean, as far as I know, the first ones have like the incredibly stable Z-Rod setup. So that's all still there. They still have the great build plate with the four leveling screw system, which again, to my knowledge, on the small printers, they were the first ones to do it. So basically everything about Epex X1 and the reason they cost more on the last generation of printers, they put out a, just a better machine. Instead of having to lift the crappy plastic lid off, you have a metal lid that flips up and stays in place. It's, it's just way easier to work with. So I understand some people are on a budget. And I used to tell people if you're at 300 or under, you know, you're looking at your Photon, your Mars, you know, your Sonic Mini. But if you have more money to spend, get the Epex X1. So now let's get to my short review of this machine for the people who don't like when I go in depth. Short review comes first. So I, this, this one's an easy short review. If you want to print the absolute best quality minis you can print for a machine under, you know, probably $10,000. Like if you get an Asiga Max UV for $12,000, I still think it prints better. Hey, and Stefan, if you're watching this, send me, send me one of those Asiga Maxes, man. $12,000 isn't bad for you guys. Anyway, um... This machine gave me the absolute best prints of miniatures that I've ever gotten since I've been printing 3D resin miniatures. 
So it is a 2K resolution screen, like, like the last generation, like you're using on your Mars or your Photon or whatever, but it's a mono screen. So that 2K screen transmits light better and more accurately than the 2K color screens that everyone's using. In addition, EPAX, their parallel light array, when people test it, like if you go to uh, you know, the, the Photon form actually, or now EPAX, you can find a guy, I have to link his name, it's like Vinicius Silver or something cool like that. Anyway, he does all kinds of tests. But the Epax X1, I believe, the parallel light array that they had, he tested was the best of the best in terms of uniform light distribution coming up. So they have an upgraded version of that in their new mono printer. So now you've got a mono screen, which transmits light better and more accurately than the old screens, with a parallel array that transmits light very evenly. So what does that mean? You have the highest resolution you can currently achieve on a small printer is this new Epax. It's as simple as that. So that's, that's the end of my short review. If you have the money, go buy the damn thing. What do you, well, you shouldn't even be watching. You should be go clicking to buy. And again, that's if you want the highest, sharpest featured minis you can get. This is your machine. I think right now it's, uh, you know, they just, they're just selling them now. I think it's about 629 bucks. I'm trying to get a coupon. Hopefully I get one by the time this video is done and it's linked somewhere so you guys can get a price break. But anyway, l listen, honestly, hands down, the best minis I've printed are coming off this machine. It's, and, and I'm not surprised by it because I was getting such good prints off my Sonic Mini, which isn't even a 2K screen. So I know Epax taking that technology and using 2K, it's got to be better, right? So I, you know, I was excited to unbox it and test it. As soon as my first print came off, like in my hand, because I always test the same miniature, which you'll see pictures of or floating in a box right now. As soon as it came off and I picked it up, I was like, I could tell already it was the best print I'd ever done. It was so sharp and clear, the detail is, is great. Um, so that's literally the end of my short review. Anyone who knows Epax knows their reputation. Best built machine out there, best customer service as well. Again, if people who haven't dealt with Epax might not know, their customer service is like second to none. They're incredible. So that's the end of the short review. So. Let, let's, let's dive a little deeper into, into why it's so good, why I think it's so good. So again, and let's talk about the resin too. I didn't talk about it in the short review because those people probably don't care. This Epax hard resin, it is not a fast curing resin. It's a slow curing resin. And you guys know, I don't like to get into the weeds or too sciencey on my channel. You just want to know like kind of what, what works basically. A slow curing resin prints more accurately has, again, without into getting into the weeds, it just has less light leakage and less, less, less extra pixels cured. Now, the reason, and this resin, by the way, if someone's watching this and they don't own a mono screen or this, or they're not getting this EPAX for whatever reason, mono screen, this resin is actually made for mono screens. And what I mean by that is it's a slow curing accurate resin, much like the Soraya Sculpt. Those resins, if you think about it, they're not that great for your old style color LCD printers, Mars Photon stuff, because they take a lot longer to cure. So they're more accurate, but they take longer to cure. So what that means is on a, on a Photon, if you had say 12 second cure time for a normal resin, and you're like 18 seconds for this Epax hard resin, if you don't change your light off settings, you've got 18 seconds of light on, then five or six seconds of light off while the plate moves up and down, then 18 seconds of light on again. So what does that mean? Your light's on three quarters of the time during a print. Your screen's gonna burn out a lot faster. Now you've got the mono screen. So at the mono screen, I tested uh, at 0.04 millimeters and I was able to use three seconds for normal exposure. So that means you have three seconds of light on, all right? And then about five or six seconds of light off, then three seconds of light on. You can see the difference. Instead of 18 seconds on, and then at five seconds off, you have three seconds on, five seconds off. So you're not gonna burn out your screen. Plus the mono screen, since they're made to transmit this kind of UV light, they don't degrade the same way a normal LCD screen does, and that's why they're rated for over 2,000 hours of printing use uh, versus an LCD screen, which you know is, is anywhere from you know around 400 hours. Some, some last longer, some last shorter. But if you're using these, these better resins, you will burn out your regular LCD screen a lot faster, unless you set a very long light off uh, setting. And if you set a long light off setting, then all of a sudden your, your print time is gonna be through the roof and who cares? So this has the benefit of being a, the 2K mono screen is if you wanna use a faster resin though, you can cure them in anywhere. I've cured as low, like if I use just like a regular Elegoo Gray or Soraya Fast, 
1.8 seconds per normal layer, which is incredibly fast, and use these nice slow curing resin like a Soraya Sculpt or, or this Epax Hard resin, which I would, I would recommend. It's, it's amazing. It's the res, this, you'll see the pictures. First of all, let me digress to the resin for a second. I don't know if they did the color on purpose. The, the color is so good for taking photos. For someone like me who likes to take photos of my minis, it is, it is like a, you'll see, it's like a dark gray. It's beautiful and really easy to see all the details and stuff. And so for people also like me, even if you're not taking photos, if you have the huge pile of shame like I do, you don't have time to paint, at least if you print in this color resin, you slap the mini down the table, it already looks really good. It looks almost like highlighted and stuff because of the color. So it's, it's a pretty cool color, I think. Um, but more importantly, the resin between the res the printer, having the 2K screen, the accurate light array, then you've got a resin that, that prints very accurately. The combination to me is stunning. Like it's amazing. I'm I'm so happy right now. Uh, you know that this came out, and and I know. Look, you know what's going to happen. Um, there will eventually be a cheaper version of this made by you know any cubic and Elegoo. You know we know the Saturn's coming out in just a few months. But that's a 4K screen, 4K screen on a much bigger uh, size. The actual resolution is not nearly as high as, as you get on the small screen with a 2K screen. I think their resolution is uh, something like 80, and this is uh, like 45 or 47 or something. This, this, this is just way better. So again, this, this machine to me, if you want the best minis you can print right now, and again, not spending ten thousand dollars, then this new Epax is absolutely the machine for you. So I don't think I need to go even much longer on this quote unquote long review because again, you it's a simple combination. You got Epax, which is the best built machine out there and has been in the last generation, and now they're just coming out with the new generation technology, so it's better. Right, and and they actually uh, beat everyone to the punch. I was surprised they came out before an any Kubrick and an Elegoo or anything like that. So I'm actually hoping they get some traction. I know they're expensive compared to the other ones, but again, you just get a better machine. You get, I think, a much better light array inside the machine, which is really important. The other thing I should mention now, we're in the longer part of the review. The fan was a little loud in this one, and I think given given the uh, the light array and the screen and everything. They want to make sure they have a lot of cooling. So the printer itself wasn't loud, but the fan was louder than my other fans, I'd have to say. So it's, it's, it's that kind of noise that if you're out of the room, you can't hear it anyway. But in the room, it was a little louder. And again, not the printer running, just the fan. So maybe the guys out there who like to do mods or whatever could somehow find a quieter fan. I don't even know. I mean, to me, it doesn't matter. I've got five printers running in the same room all at once, so the noise is commingled. It doesn't matter to me. But I just thought I'd point that out because I did notice the fan sounded a, a tiny little bit louder than all my other small printers. But So let's not waste any time. Let's look at just close-up high-res photos. It's just my first few prints. And honestly, I can review this printer without printing for, you know, two, I don't need 100 prints off this. To review it, I know Epax, I know the machine well, and then it's just an upgraded version of the old machine. So I'm just getting higher quality prints. It's it's pretty much, I mean, it's pretty much that simple, I think. And you know, it comes again for, for the people who don't know Epax. It's pre-leveled for you. You get it, you unbox it, you put resin in, you're printing. You don't even even though it's got the four screw leveling system, they do it for you in the factory. So you don't even have to do that. And and honestly, on my original Epax, I never even I never even had to adjust it. I never I never leveled that machine one time, and I don't anticipate having to level this machine either. And it was it was leveled perfectly. I just I literally threw resin in, queued up my first print, boom, that was that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope listen. Sometimes I I review and say if this is right for you, if this is right. The only thing I'll say about is this right for you because I think this printer is literally right for everyone. If you have the six hundred dollars and you want to print the best minis you can print. Understandably, some people are going to say, hey, I'm not spending over $300 for a printer. I'll take the plastic lift off top. I don't care. I'll take the cheaper construction. I'll take a light array that's not as good. Hey, and I've got nothing against it. I, I understand a budget as well as anyone in the world does. All I'm saying is to you, if anyone, if you have the money, you want to get this printer over any of the other ones out there now. And the Sonic Mini, which was becoming my favorite, well, this is like a souped up, much better Sonic Mini. So I, I feel bad for my Sonic Mini that it was kind of creeping up to being my favorite. And now it's just, boom, it's been jumped over by Epex. And like I said, the resin, 
I'm loving this resin as well. I'm going to do a separate review on the resin because I need to do the brake test. I need to you know, do all that stuff that I do for a resin test. But in terms of holding detail, uh, you know, again, the pictures are going to speak for themselves. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please like, please subscribe, please check out my other reviews. I think we're in for an exciting time. I think over the next six months or a year, there's going to be a lot of these new tech printers coming out. So it's, it's great to see where it goes. I was really excited to, uh, to see EPACs entering this field, and they did not disappoint. This is awesome printer, guys and gals. So that's it. Stay tuned. Let's look at a couple of pictures so you can see what the printer is capable of. And I'll see you soon. Let's we'll see you soon, hopefully with some instructional videos and some more support tips. Thanks everyone. So this is the model I always use as my standard test. And I always print it at 0.04 millimeters. And I always use this one because uh, she has some very easy features for me to focus on when I'm, when I'm looking, which are the eyes. I check the upper eyelid, the lower eyelid, the eyebrows, the definition around the mouth, and on her wrist bracers, the belt buckle thing there, the tongue, the prong, and this is just absolutely the, the sharpest result I've ever seen when I've test printed this figure. And you know, when I saw this come off the plate, I was like, wow, this is, a, this is just gorgeous. And this one I printed at 0.02 millimeters to see what the machine could do, and this one at 0.02 came out just smooth as butter, every detail crisp, clean, perfect. And it is just looking, it is just looking great. This owl mage, uh, also every detail came out perfectly. This was again back to 0.04. I'm really loving just sharp, crisp. There's tiny little striations in the feathers, his finger feathers, and those came out flawless, picked up every little striation, um, which is good for painting, right? This makes it better for someone to paint. Here's a little closer view of it, and you can just see every detail of the sculptor sculpted, which is, this is from Artisan Guild, every, every detail the sculptor sculpted is showing up in my print. And, and that's all you can ask for. When you, when you print the mini, you want to capture everything the artist put into that sculpt. You don't want it washed out because you don't have the resolution. This machine can do it. So thanks and happy 3D printing, everyone.